morning Holy Spirit for empowering our prayer life and making us a prayer addict reviving and igniting our prayer life so that we may know the will of God We adore you that every negative plan and activity against our lives is, re is reversed to good in the name of Jesus. And the Lord God, by your mercies and your grace, all those evil forces who design fill us towards our destiny are killed by the power of the cross the blood of Jesus and the resurrection power of God Yes, every good thing that is eaten up by the enemy is revealed by your will to us. Lord God, make us the voice of deliverance and blessings. And may your will strengthen us unto victory through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, this day. Indeed, we are aware of the thoughts that, Lord, you think towards us. Thought of peace to give us an expected end. We receive it this day in Jesus' name and we hallowed your name. 
good shepherd of the sheep, lead us through yet another gifted journey this day. Amen. Yes, beloved in Christ, God speaks through his word. God speaks through dreams and visions. And also God speaks through circumstances. You may ask, how is it possible? Brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us in Daniel chapter 9 verses 1 to 2, that in the first year of Darius, the son of Asuerus, of the seed of Meds, of the Meds, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of the reign, I, Daniel, understood by books a number of the years whereof. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. Brothers and sisters, Daniel makes clear in this passage a truth of the Christian faith that the avenue through which God most often speaks to us is his word. He tells us that he does not understood by the books. In this case, his reading of Jeremiah, what God's will was concerning the exiles in the then Babylonian world. The Bible is God's written word, and God uses it to speak to us. If that is the question is do we listen? By God's grace, I'm saying it by God's grace, I've read the Bible cover to cover many, many times. And at each reading, I discover new meaning in even the most familiar passage of Scripture. And so in allowing me to suddenly see the passage in a whole new light, God is speaking to me about a specific matter for which I am seeking His direction. The familiar passage seems to leap off and the scared pages of my Bible and burn itself into the depths of my being. On some occasions, God has used scriptures to provide the specific answer to my need. And so, beloved in Christ, God has distinct and different ways of speaking to his children. I pray that you be one of those children that God has ordained to reveal his will to you. God also speaks through dreams and visions. The Bible says in Acts chapter 22, verse 17 through to 18 and 19, which is the focal test. The Bible says, And it came to pass that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance. At times, God speaks 
to raise children through visions and dreams. The scriptures recall that Paul had a vision of Jesus and saw him saying unto him, Make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they know that I imprison and beat in every synagogue them that believe on thee. Acts chapter 22, verse 18 to 19. Brothers and sisters, Paul's plan was to stay in Jerusalem and preach to those who knew him. He had made up his mind on what to do for God. But in the vision, Paul learns from God that his plan was not God's plan for his life. Paul had his own plan for his life, and God changed it through a vision. As a well-known Pharisee, Paul may have thought that his profile among the Jews will allow him to use his influence to persuade them to follow Jesus and that this surely will please God. But this was not God's perfect will. And only as Paul prayed for direction was God's perfect will for his life revealed. Knowing that the Jews will not receive Paul's message, God spoke to Paul in a vision and told him that he was sending Paul among the Gentiles. Had Paul stayed in Jerusalem, beloved, it will have been only by God's permissive will. Paul's life and the world history, however, was changed because of God's visionary response to Paul's prayer for and treaties. And because Paul was obedient to the message that he received in his God-given vision, as a result, Paul shocked the world for God. He shook the world for God. Then because Jews did not associate with Gentiles, and forever because he spread the word of God to a waiting world. My brother, my sister, I don't know the plans that you are thinking through for yourself, but the question is, is it of God? Has God sanctioned it for you? Or has it been endorsed by the Holy Spirit? God also speaks through circumstances. For in Genesis 24, 12 to 14, the Bible says, And he said, O Lord of my master Abraham, I pray thee, this is the servant of Abraham. When Abraham spoke to this servant to go and look for a wife for Isaac, I pray thee, send me good speed this day. And show kindness on my master's Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water. And daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And let it come to pass that the damsel, to whom I say, let down their pitcher. I pray thee that I may drink. And she shall say, drink. And I'll give thy camels drink. Also, let us sin be she that thou hast appointed for thy seven eyes. Genesis 24, 12 to 14. The word of God tells us that Abraham's servant. Elias prayed that God will lead him in the matter of choosing a wife for Isaac. 
we are told that Elias asked God to have the appropriate choice fulfill certain conditions. In having a woman fulfill those conditions for Elias, God used circumstances to convey his perfect will to and for Elias regarding Isaac's future wife. My brother, my sister, this is a deep revelation that calls for a sober reflection about a time when some of these circumstances come our way. We overlook it and later we blame God for it. May the great and almighty God give you that discernment and insight and understanding to activate his will through his word, through dreams and visions and through circumstances. May God bless you and bless you abundantly for the day. Bye for now. Speak, oh.